We begin here. The Supreme Court of Appeal has set aside the appointment of Tony Mbepu Ramapulana as the King of Bavenda people. Princess Masindi challenged a High Court ruling which recognized her uncle as the rightful heir to the throne. The tug of war has divided the Bavenda nation for at least six years. The princess argued that customary law favors firstborn male children, which violates her right to equality. But her uncle Mbepu Ramapulana was adamant the kingship is dedicated or decided based on tradition and not gender. Let's get your reaction to all this. And to do that, we're joined via Skype by Contralesa's Provincial Chairperson in Limpopo, Hoshi Litziri Pasha. Hoshi, good afternoon to you. Thank you for your time. Let's begin with the obvious, your reaction to this news coming out of the courts today. Uh, good afternoon, uh, and good afternoon to our viewers at home. Um, firstly, uh, we, we, we are made to understand that uh, as the preamble dictates in the Framework Act uh, of 2003 that uh, the main objective of this act is to restore the legitimacy of traditional leadership institutions based on the issue of customary law and practice. So in whatever situation that we find ourselves in, it is imperative that we let the, the customary law and practices determine who is the rightful king or heir to the throne, not to be uh, dictated to by uh, the Roman Dutch law, which uh, tends to um, uh, supersede every uh, law that exists in the country. Ours is an institution that is governed by customary law and practices of particular communities that are practicing that kind of a system. So we discourage in whatever means that uh, communities need not opt for court to decide on who is their leader in terms of customary law. It's the royal inner cycle that needs to determine that. And if what the judge has ruled is in accordance with the customary law of the Bavenda uh, community, we will uh, observe that as the rightful judgment. But if it is... Uh, it, 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 it supersedes uh, every cultural practice that the Bavenda are practicing, then we ha start to have a problem with that. You sound rather hesitant, Hoshi, in acknowledging and accepting the decision that is coming from the courts today. Is that to say that this decision has not worked out the way you as Contralesa would have liked it to go? Not necessarily. What I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that uh, we need not... Uh, a rush to the court to determine who are our traditional leaders because the law says everything has to be done according to customary law and practice of that community. So if the decision is based on what the act is saying that undermines the customary law, then we have a problem with that. But if uh, the decision is based on the premise that uh, if in the absence of the rightful in terms of a male person, then someone who is a female has to act on that. In some communities, it does happen. And that, if that uh, Vavenda community has that in their uh, practice, then we don't have a problem with it. Will you support Princess Masindi as she prepares to take the throne? We are bound to observe uh, uh, the ruling of the court and uh, there's nothing that we can do now because the current system uh, favors the, the Roman Dutch law ahead of our customary law. You keep referring to how there's a favoring of Roman Dutch law or the customary law and again it brings us back to the point that you sound as though you aren't too pleased with the court's decision today. Is that what you're saying to me today, Hoshi Pat? <laughs> no, 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 not necessarily. The, uh, I, I don't have any interest uh, in that matter up to so far but uh, what i'm trying to say is that uh, we need to learn as royal leaders that we need to resolve issues based on our uh, customary uh, laws and practices and never rush to cause to decide for us what needs to be done because we have a, a system that is in place that needs to guide us into every decision that we need to take this issue around the chieftainship of the Bavenda people has been dragging on for years now. As a traditional leaders body, as Contralesa, what has been your involvement in trying to find a more traditional solution to the issue? There was little that we can do as the organization Contralesa because uh, the matter was uh, before a court of law. 
So um, we had uh, our hands tight on that matter uh, uh, to intervene uh, effectively uh, to resolve it. So what role will you play now, now that there's going to be a changing of hands as far as who's at the helm? Uh, like the, the, the judge dictates that the, the matter be referred to uh, uh, the, the House of Traditional Leaders for advice and who will be sitting down with the provincial uh, leadership of the House of Traditional Leaders to try and advise them as to how to take the matter forward. I want to go back to the time that this has dragged on. About six years or so, this has been before the courts. It has divided Mavenda in various parts of the country as to who they think should be in power there. Traditionally, how is this now going to work as far as finding a way to bring those who were in support of Princess Masindi and those who supported the now former king, Bepu Ramapulana, together to make sure that there's some sort of cohesion in that part of the country? The overriding principle will be uh, to look into what is the culture of a vendor. And that will be the uh, determinant factor in terms of who should uh, actually succeed uh, the late king uh, on the throne. And that will be the main thing that will try and put these people together to say, in terms of our culture, we add in doing this and this and this is the right way to do it. And if that uh, favors the, the princess, let it be, we will accept it and then uh, move forward. But you keep coming back to whether this, whether this favors the princess, Hoshi, but a court has decided so she is the rightful heir to the throne. Uh, you know, tradition differs, but uh, in, in essence, uh, the traditional leadership succession uh, is based on the uh, uh, if I may call it uh, uh, the male lineage uh, from the, the king's side who will then uh, take over as uh, the rightful heir. But uh, the, the provisions of uh, section 2 uh, of the premier uh, is compelling us to say we must transform. Irrespective of what we believe are our customs and culture, it says we must transform and recognize uh, uh, the, 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 the gender in terms of uh, succession of uh, uh, the kinship. So in that, in that situation, uh, we are bound to, 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 to follow and accept uh, whatever the inner circle of the royal uh, Babenda people will be saying. In terms of the culture, this is the way to go. Do you acknowledge and respect at least that even customary law is bound to the confines of the Constitution, which protects not just those who live outside of traditional societies, but people in those communities as well? If we had uh, a time, we, we could challenge that. Uh, but but uh, for now, where I'm seated, uh, I don't have any leg to stand on. I'm just have to, to, to come to, 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 to follow what the Constitution is saying. Uh, because the, the, there's nothing that we can do now. The act is there, even though it's flawed. We just have to follow it and also uh, respect what the Constitution is saying. Let's leave it there. Contralesa Provincial Chairperson in Limpopo, Hoshi Litziri Pasha.